welcome back to this session by Pathfinder for me. As we have been doing every week, this is another session on current affairs and general knowledge if you are preparing or planning to prepare for TISNET 2023. And if you've not done these things, please, uh, you know, if you're looking for some strategic inputs for TISNET 2023 preparation, you can subscribe to our channel Pathfinder for me. If you're looking for some content on quantitative aptitude or reasoning, you can subscribe to our channel Mend Your Math. You could also join our WhatsApp and Telegram groups by scanning this QR code. And if you want any information on our wonderful courses that we offer for TISNET, you can inquire with us on 9343921347952929268. You could also log visit the site www.pathfinderforme.com. So for those of you who are here for the first time, every week we have one session related to GK, General Knowledge and Current Affairs. Basically, this is based on what kind of questions we have seen in TISNET in the previous years. So let us get started with the first question. Where is the headquarter for Central Institute for Cotton Research located? So the correct answer here should be Nagpur. So there are two other places where this institute is located and one is Coimbatore, the other is Sirsa. But the headquarters is Nagpur. Now, when was this institute uh, started? When did it, uh, you know, when was it established? It was established in 1976 by ICAR, Indian Council for of Agricultural Research. And the objective is obviously to perform research related to cotton production. And as I told you just now, two other units located at Coimbatore and Sirsa, but the headquarter is at Nagpur. Next question. Which of the following type of forest occupies the largest area in India? Your options are tropical moist deciduous forest, subtropical dry evergreen forest, montane wet temperate forest, tropical wet evergreen forest. And your answer in this case is tropical moist deciduous forest. In fact, popularly known as tropical deciduous forests. And but obvious because we are located, we are a country located in the tropical zone and therefore it had to be one of these answers. Now, where are these forests found? These forests are found between 10 and 20 degree latitude north or south both. So 10 degree lat uh, north latitude to 20 degree north latitude and 10 degree south to 20 degree south latitude. What kind of trees are uh, there in this uh, in these type of forests? You will find bamboo trees, shisham trees, sal and so on. So these forests will be found in areas of warm climate with moderate to heavy rainfall and you know rainfall generally in excess of 100 to 200 centimeter. So they grow in areas as I told you which receive around 100 to 200 centimeter rainfall annually and generally occur between 10 and 20 degree north and south latitudes. Some of the common trees are uh, sandalwood, mahua, shisham, sal, teak, bamboo and so on. Next question. Red data book provides data on. Your options are red lion, red birds, list of plant and animals, endangered plant and animals. The correct answer should be endangered plant and animals. So who brings out this red data book? The red data book is brought out by IUCN, International Union on Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources. And what does it contain? It contains and documents endangered and rare plants and animals. So they have divided the entire plants and animals into categories and these are the categories black so any plant or animal on the black list would be extinct any any animal in the red list would be endangered in the amber list would be vulnerable in the white list would be rare 
and green and grey. Green is recovering. So it was once upon a time endangered and now recovering. And grey for animal species where the information available is not sufficient or information available is not proper. Next question. Which major tech company recently announced that it had planned to cut more than half of carbon emissions across its supply chain by 2030? Your options are Adobe, Microsoft, Facebook and Google. The correct answer is Microsoft. What else have they done? They have also uh, started a climate innovation fund. They have pledged $1 billion for this particular fund. So Microsoft which has planned to cut more than half of its carbon emissions by 2030. And this is across the supply chain of Microsoft. Next question. Which of the following national park is called as top slip? Your options are Indira Gandhi Wildlife Sanctuary and National Park, uh, Mudu Malai National Park, Mukurthi National Park and Palani Hills National Park. The correct answer in this case is Indira Gandhi Wildlife Sanctuary and National Park. So why is it known as top slip? I'll, I'll just tell you shortly but it is located around Coimbatore in Tamil Nadu and also known as Anai Malai National Park. And the reason why it is known as top slip is because of the practice of sliding timber logs down the hill. And this practice, because of this practice, it is known as the top slip national park. Because this top, this practice itself is known as top slip. The World Environment Day is celebrated every year on which of the following dates? Your option are 5th August, 5th July, 5th June and 15th of June. The correct answer will be 5th of June. So the World Environment Day was a direct outcome of the 1972 Conference on Human Environment. And that is when for the first time the concept of World Environment uh, Day was discussed. And it was started since 1973 led by United Nations Environment Program UNEP. So every year it has been uh, observed on 5th of June since 1973 and the, it's a principal vehicle to raise awareness about saving environment. And the theme of the year, a theme of this conference for the year 2022 was only one earth. So every year there is a theme associated with this day. Next question. The term Grand Slam is associated with so, to my knowledge, it is associ associated, I think, with tennis as well as with golf. But here, the only option that serves the purpose is lawn tennis. So, the term Grand Slam is associated with lawn tennis. Now, what is the meaning of Grand Slam? So, Grand Slam refers to the top four competitions of a particular sport. So, for any sport, the winning of the four most prestigious championships for that sport in one calendar year is known as Grand Slam. And which are those four sports or which are the four competitions in tennis? The first one is Australian Open. Uh, Australian Open started since 1905 and the venue is in Melbourne, Melbourne Park. Next, Wimbledon started in 1877, held at All England Club in London. Then we have French Open which started in 1891, held in Rolla Garros, Clay Court, Paris. Then we have US Open started in 1881 at New York. So these are the four competitions which are known as the Grand Slam events in tennis. Next, the Dronacharya Award is given to. So the, the options are players, coaches, referees and captains. The correct answer is coaches. Dronacharya award is given to coaches of games and sports. So this award was instituted in 1985, carries a cash award of 15 lakhs. And in the government of India has instituted this award. The first recipients were Bhalchandra Bhaskar Bhagwat for wrestling, 
ओम प्रकाश भारद्वाज फॉर बॉक्सिंग ओ एम नाम्बियार फॉर एथलेटिक्स नेक्स्ट द फर्स्ट मैन टू स्विम अक्रॉस पार्क स्ट्रेट्स इज योर ऑप्शन आर तुलसी चैतन्य मीर सेन संदीप सेजवाल एंड सजन प्रकाश आई थिंक इट्स मिहिर सेन हु वॉज अ लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस स्विमर फ्रॉम इंडिया सो मिहिर सेन इज द करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन He swam the Pak Strait between Ceylon in Sri Lanka and Dhanushkodi in South India. He was a long distance swimmer and the first Asian to conquer the English Channel and the only man to swim oceans of five continents. Next question, who was the first Indian to win the World Amateur Billiards title? Your options are Wilson Jones, Michael Ferreira, Geet Sethi and Manoj Kothari the correct answer is Wilson Jones who won the world amateur title in 1958 and 1964 next oh there is no next question so we come to an end of this particular session in case you are preparing for testnet or any other similar um, exam like testnet you can contact me on this number 9826062415 alternately i'm sure you have scanned the qr code if you've not done so please uh watch this session again from the beginning and you will see some qr codes which you can just scan and reach the relevant destination thank you